it is production week and we are busy making set materials. Um, so for Robert's bed, which is the feather-like structure which you saw in the design vlog about the set design, um, basically his bed is feather shaped and it needs to bow. So what we're doing is we're using a classic fisherman's camp bed. And uh, the great thing about this is it's really sturdy, it's really strong, it's durable, it has lots of legs. And um, it has these mechanisms which allow it to go up and down, and the same with the bottom half, and it's quite easy to use as a structure to develop and create a different shape. So that's why we're using this. Um, we were very lucky, we managed to sell this, source this for free, um, because it wasn't wanted anymore, which is absolutely brilliant, So because these are often quite pricey, so that was, that was very good. Okay, so right now I'm just painting the bed that Robert will be using. Uh, this is the bed that's going to look like a feather, and we've just got to paint it white because it's a very dark green colour and that doesn't quite work with our feather theme. So, here goes! My job is to work out the bed. Um, this is how it's progressing. It's starting to look slightly feather-like now with all of the texture and textiles we've been putting on it and painting, which has taken a day and a half so far. Um, and we're just working on this mechanism up here to try and make the installation's type appearance in the bed. So we're going to see how it progresses. Okay, so um, as you can see here, we've used lots and lots of different fabrics, um, lots and lots of different types of textures. We've just painted over it, as you can see it's still wet. We've used a glue gun and we've just attached it all down and it is pretty strong. Um, so to follow that, we have got this mechanism here, which is all kind of one big experiment. And um, we've got a broomstick um, handle here, which is metal. So it's really strong and it works and it's also white, which is really convenient. Um, and we've got a tubing here that's often used in plumbing and I showed you this the other day and we're using this to create the bowed appearance at the top and we've got some wire here to firm it out to make it a little bit stronger and keep it so it doesn't wobble too much um, we're using different bolts to bolt it down so it stays and we're just figuring out how to make it strong enough to not fall down how to make it safe and also how to make it look good so that's what I'm working on right now um, in a minute I'm just going to be getting the wire and I'm going to be draping it across like that to make the insulation part. I'm about to put the final, final paint brushes onto this bed and then I think we're done with painting and decorating it. And that means that we only have the um, the frame to finish and then we're done. It's amazing. And then tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wix very early in the morning about 7 o'clock and just get a couple more bits to, you know, to finally pull the thing together. Just technically. So that's where we are. So this is the finished bed. It looks like, I hope it looks like a huge feather. Um, Maria is applying lots of paint to whiten it up a little bit. Um, as you saw before, lots of texture here, lots of paint, lots of fabric. Um, lots of just texturing and playing around and experimenting. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, because we weren't able to bring in the bed any earlier, we um, didn't see how tangled the frames um, we didn't see how tangled the objects in the frame became when um, when he was sitting in them. So um, our solution was to then get something that you know get a, se a frame that was separate to the bed because that was the issue. There would be no reason for the frame to be bouncing when he's sitting down. I think this decision was taken in part so that the um, the actors feel that they're secure and safe and you know they can handle their secure their sp their space. Um, and also so that the audience are, have faith in you know in the set design and don't feel like it's going to fall down. Due to the installation piece not working as we wanted it to because it was too bouncy when he when Mark sat on the bed, we decided to get another piece 
Um, and we came up with the idea of getting an umbrella stand, um, a, like a banana one that uh, sprouts out like that, and then painting it and using that as the, as the uh, device. So I've just gone and quickly painted it. Um, unfortunately, the budget hasn't stretched to three cans of white spray, so we've done our best. Um, and you know, give it our best job. So this is a very last minute thing, but we think it could work. So.